Tommy is still sleeping. It is Tuesday. He has his first match tomorrow. So he just has practice today. I'm running to go get a coffee. I would have gone earlier, but nothing opens here until like 8.30 or 9. So I'm going to get a coffee. I'm gonna go sit and do some work. And then I'm gonna go to his practice. And then I thought I would actually help him make a little reel for his social media. So I'm gonna go to practice with him and make him a little video. This town is really, really cute. It's like a little town by the sea in England. Okay, we just went and got my credential. And what are you getting? Fish fingers and chips. Fingers. <laughs> Why fingers? <laughs> It'll feel good. You'll feel big. Tommy won't stop saying Cheerio to everyone he sees. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, Tommy. I'm telling you, it's a power. <laughs> It's real power. It's really not. It just makes everyone think we're weird. <laughs> Babe, no one says that. It's a real power. Here we go. It's so good, thank you. So this morning, I just hung out. Tommy and I got breakfast, did some of my morning work and my journaling, and then I did my makeup and got ready for the tennis match. He's last on, so I had some time today. I just was watching the other matches while I was doing my makeup um, and just hanging out and prepping for a meeting that I have right now. Computer isn't charging. I will show you guys like a full outfit when I'm on the way there. I'm gonna hop on this meeting now. It's really important for me to stay up to date, especially now with work because of deadlines and projects. There are so many things that I've learned being a business owner. And now that we have like 18 projects that are real garments. I don't know, there's so many things I'm learning and didn't know. Not meeting with your team and not making choices in two days can push your timeline back two months. So it's really important. To be honest, I wasn't as good at communicating with my team when I was in Australia for the Australian Open and we had to pay for it a little bit because some of the timelines are pushed back because of my poor communication. So trying to be better. Urban Shira. Um... I love how you're becoming Tommy's little videographer editor. Wait, it's so fun. I had so much fun doing it. I'm already filming everything. And I enjoy yeah. making the videos, so it's definitely like something fun to do on the road. Yeah. When I'm bored. Yeah, it's really crazy. Um, so Liv and I didn't know how you wanted to go out. Thanks, Liv. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay guys, I am just now walking to the match. My meeting went on for like two and a half hours, but it was good. The site is actually really close to the hotel, which is really nice. So I'm just gonna walk there. Also, the sun came out, which is really nice. This morning it was really cloudy and gloomy, but I did bring a jacket because it does get cold sometimes. And then this is the whole outfit. And yeah. Do you want to show the vlog? 
Are we allowed to show it? Yeah, fuck it. Do you want to tell them about it? So this is the watch brand D. Bethune. D. Bethune. That Tommy is sponsored by and they made him. Is it just yours? They made you this? Yeah. It's insane. It's like a one of one piece. I think they're going to make... They're gonna make more and start selling them, but like this is like the first piece, and they kind of just so cool made all the specs for me and made it light so I can play in it. It has um, a tennis ball on it. Okay, I am now walking back to the hotel room. I stole Tommy's sweatshirt and changed it out of my shirt because I want it to be comfy. Tommy won his match, which is great. And yeah, we're just gonna get dinner, hang out. He's another match tomorrow. What else? Um, I might have another call too. But yeah, we're just gonna go to dinner and I'm gonna change. Did you hear the woman yelling, handsome Tom? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? I was loving Did it. You hear the, the next guy say sexy Seb. No. <laughs> What's this place called? Damn shit. Is there a line? I don't know. I booked a table though. Aw. So I just finished getting ready for Tommy's match. I have had a really good week and I wanted to share with you guys why because I'm hoping maybe it will help some of you guys. I tried really hard this week to be extremely, almost overly self-disciplined to just see how it made me feel. It's been a really good week and I contribute that fully to being very self-disciplined. So I'm gonna continue to do that. I'm a very go with the flow sort of person and I've always really loved that I was like that. I don't know, I just kind of like shoot from the hip and I try to not like be too stressed or overcomplicate. But not everyone's gonna do this, but I'm just gonna share with you guys what I have been doing. Um, I wake up every single morning and I say a prayer and then when I journal, I write goals and then I write something I learned and then I write ideas, I just like brain dump. I'm most creative first thing in the morning and very late at night, so I make sure that I get that all down. I've been very conscious about the social media that I'm consuming. Um, just really great mental health week. So I highly, highly recommend for you guys to try that um, some of you might already be people who journal in the morning or organize or reflect, um, but I think writing down goals, things you learn, just making sure you're reflecting. I think often when we're like in crisis or we're like trying to um, deal with something or you hit rock bottom and then you're like, okay, I'm gonna go on a self care journey. But I think even if nothing's going on or even if you're doing well, Implementing that as a routine will help you be more even keel. My goals with my mental health and and just life is to just be good. I don't want really high highs and I don't want really low lows. And I've managed to have that in my life. And I didn't always have that in my life. I also think it has a lot to do with who I'm around. I have really great friends and a really great family and an amazing boyfriend that I, I literally don't fight with at all. It's crazy, <laughs> kind of, like it's weird. I've definitely been in relationships where it was much more toxic. 
and Tommy is just the farthest thing from that and I, I love him so much but I think that what's able to keep me on this path that I've been on and that's able to keep me in this place where I am self-disciplined has a lot to do with also like my environment and who I'm around anyways I'm gonna head to the match I feel like I'm forgetting something but Oh, what sunglasses should I wear? I wore these ones yesterday. They're really cute. Or where are they? Hmm. I don't know. God, I feel like my... Oh, I'm going to wear these just to switch it up. Okay. I'm wearing this vintage striped shirt, but you guys can definitely find this like anywhere. And then I'm just wearing a little white skirt from Brandy. Uh, white high socks and black loafers. So far, this trip has been really nice. I'm really enjoying being here. Anyways, Tommy is in the quarterfinals today for the tournament. So yeah, fingers crossed. And I'm really excited to watch him play. Obviously, the longer we're here, that means Tommy has, is still in the tournament, which is awesome. We want to be here for as long as possible. I just hope these vlogs aren't like too repetitive. Dressed, more casual, warmer. Tommy's in the semifinals today. Very exciting. I'm very proud of him. He was struggling a little bit during his clay court season, which happens with players. I mean, it's a crazy sport. That's part of being a tennis player. It's very rare that you don't have some sort of ups and downs. I don't know if I'm allowed to tell you guys this or if I'm supposed to tell you guys this, but he actually had the wrong racket grip. So he changed his racket from Wilson to Yonix. So he's with a different racket company now and he had the wrong grip. Like his grip was way smaller than it has been his whole life. So he actually, this tournament is back to the grip that he normally uses. He's doing all the things. I'm really proud of him. Um, and even if he wasn't performing well in this tournament, I would still be proud of him because he's just always trying to be better and learn about himself. And yeah, it's cool. Okay guys, a rain delay. Your sweater's on inside out. It is? Yeah. Ooh, that's fun. Huh? Good luck. I lose the first thing there. Page. What? She's mad. Nah. I'm just ready to you know. Ready to what? I just want you to play. Me too. This morning I may or may not have like slept in by accident a little bit. Um so I like literally ran out of the house this morning and didn't film anything. But since there was a rain delay yesterday, Tommy had to play two matches today. Um, he had to play in the semifinals this morning, and then now he's playing in the finals. He won his match earlier today. So now I'm just going to run back to the site for the finals. I'm so happy for him. <laughs> Reflect on your week here with us in Eastbourne. Yeah, um, 
Hey guys, I'm just getting food now. Tommy unfortunately lost, got injured. I haven't seen him yet, but I hope it's not too bad. He could barely move, so it's not good, but. Okay, so we are just packing up right now um, and heading to London. Wimbledon is starting in a few days. Yeah, Tommy is feeling okay. He got looked at by a doctor. I think he's gonna get treatment when we get to London. It's kind of shitty though. He had to play two matches today and his opponent didn't have to play two matches. So like, I think that's kind of unfair, but it just is what it is. He still had an amazing week. Great practice for Wimbledon. That's all you can really ask for. So yeah, we're gonna head there and I will see you guys next week in Wimbledon.